Hello, matriculants, um, geography teachers, um, incorporating students who are big in geometric, and people who are curious and learning more about geography. Today, we are going to be discussing, or I can say now, we are going to be discussing um, drainage density. Okay? Yes, so we are going to be discussing a drainage density so what is drainage density first of all okay you can say drainage you must know this definition drainage density cd is the total is the total length of streams of streams per unit area. Of the drainage basin. Okay, so this is a definition of a drainage density. Yes. So a drainage density is the total length of streams per unit area of a drainage basin. So basically, this means that. Um, we can have a higher drainage density within a drainage basin or a drainage basin can be or have a low drainage density yes a high drainage density or a low drainage density yes so this will drive us into this um, these two subtopics okay yes um, Looking at our diagram A and B, diagram A and B, yes. So diagram A and B are both um, drainage basins, right? These are two drainage basins, we have drainage basin A and drainage basin B. Looking closer and critically on our drainage basin A, you can see that um, the drainage density is low you can clearly see that it's low and drainage basin b is higher why i think you can see like it, it's given drainage basin a has fewer tributaries um yes you can see it has fewer tributaries and so on meaning that it's it's, it's a very very low drainage density and b has as many many tributaries which will accumulate more amount of water into a mainstream having much more amount of water cover, cover covering a, a very wide area drainage b and therefore that's why we say drainage b is a higher drainage density or has higher drainage density okay yes okay um let's get into into uh, the main consequences and reasons okay yes so first of all for a drainage den for a drainage density to be higher this means that there must be more precipitation there must be more heavy heavy rains that are occurring in the place so that the place can have more drainage density so these precipitation can form more tributaries and the, the, the drainage basin can accumulate more amount of water and the drainage density can cover a large um, wide area right which is, that means we are talking about B now so most, more precipitation more 
Twenty eight inches or higher twenty eight inches. Okay, let's write it down. So more precipitation results. Sorry, results in higher drainage density drainage density yes more precipitation results in higher drainage density that's number one number two as well as the soil moisture soil moisture Soil moisture, yes. So, the soil moisture, if there is more soil moisture, that means there will be higher drainage density. Soil moisture, the presence of soil moisture, um, let's say more, right? This is more, more soil moisture. Um, higher drainage density density that's the third one the vegetation also the vegetation by looking at our diagram A and B let me tell you about vegetation now the, the, there is more vegetation in diagram A than in, the, in diagram B. So, meaning that vegetation, more vegetation, lower drainage density. Yes. More vegetation. Results. Results in low drainage density. More vegetation results in low drainage density. Yes. So if there is less vegetation, that will result in higher drainage density. Why? During the precipitation, or then the the, the, surface, the surface runoff follows. During the surface runoff, if there is vegetation on the ground, there is more vegetation around the ground. The vegetation will cause a friction in the flow of the surface runoff into the rivers, and therefore these vegetation will cause the surface runoff the water and the surface runoff to to infiltrate and therefore the vegetation will feed themselves you know vegetation also needs water and so on to survive yes so more vegetation results in low drainage density we're going to discuss more about that um, later on right yes more more about that later on okay slope or even the gradient steeper gradient results in higher drainage density in steeper gradient after the precipitation occurred there will be more surface runoff and therefore results in higher drainage density so we can say um steeper gradient Steeper, steeper gra, steeper gradient results in higher drainage.
drainage density. Yes, deeper gradient results in higher density. Yes. Um, yes, also the priority. You can also talk about the priority. This is whereby, as I told you, the more the surface runoff infiltrates or like um, becomes um, or meets a porous rock that results in lower drainage density because the surface runoff, the water on the surface runoff will not meet um, the river or the tributaries will go down into the ground, will infiltrate causing a lower drainage density. So, a greater porosity will result in lower drainage density. A greater... And please guys, make these the opposite, right? Yes, if I write greater porosity results in lower drainage density, so you can say less porosity results in higher drainage density, right? Yes. So, greater porosity CD results results in lower drainage density. density yes um the permeability now greater permeability lower drainage density oh, okay during the surface runoff when the water flows on the ground if the rock the underlying rock is permeable meaning that it can go down it can infiltrate down it can allow water to infiltrate down to the water table, down to the groundwater. This means that there will be lower drainage density. Okay? So let's write it down. You can say, we can also say greater permeability will result in lower drainage density or less permeability will result in higher drainage density or less permeability yes or no permeability at all can result in very very higher or extremely high drainage density okay let's write it down let's say great again because i like great things greater permeability Results in lower drainage drainage density, right? So greater permeability results in lower drainage density, yes. That's how it go, guys. Looking back to our diagram, our diagram A and B. Um, to summarize things on our drainage density now, having told you that A is a drainage basin that has less or lower drainage density and B has higher drainage density as a basin, right? Yes. So, let's start by talking about um, higher drainage density, which is B, diagram B, right? Yes. Okay, B has higher drainage density, yes. This means that B, the underlying rock, you can say it's a clay, or it's, it's a rock that is impermeable 
that is not permeable, right? Yes. So, secondly, you can also say about B, um, there is high runoff potential, meaning that there is less vegetation. Yes. And also about B, lastly about B, which is the higher drainage density, you can say, yes, it results in higher drainage density, yes, it, as I told you, yes. So, let's look at A now. A, it's a vice versa, it's, it's an opposite of what I, I told you on B. The, the underlying rock is porous, like, meaning that the underlying rock on A, on drainage basin A, is a permeable rock. It allows water to infiltrate, meaning that resulting in, in, in less um, surface runoff in, in, in lower tributaries and end up covering a small uh, amount of area or a small amount of space of a drainage basin. Yes. So the, under, the underlying rock, it's, it's, it's porous material. And secondly, there is lower runoff potential, meaning that more water infiltrates, as I told you. And lastly, that results in lower drainage density. Yes, that's how it goes, guys. Okay? And now let's talk about, um, I think we, we're done. I think it, even you understood um, the... the the meaning of uh, drainage density.